Lifts his boot, goes out of bounds, draws a flag. And Ohio State will be set up from the 35-yard line. A big offensive line. Haskins from the pocket delivers. Austin Mack makes a catch, and they'll move the chains out near midfield. To the boundary to Mack. Play action from the pocket. It's clean. Downfield shot for Mack. Leaping play. Catch at the two-yard line. Austin Mack is a receiver that's getting better each week. They're clearly going into the boundary towards Lewis. And Mack with his size at 6'2 and speed downfield. How about the ball skills to hold on to that ball? No pressure. Dark across the middle. Drops. That was Mack who made the big play to set it up first and goal. Couldn't collect that one. And TCU's defense makes a big stand from the two-yard line. Michigan in the second half. Chip shot from Sean Nurnberger was extremely accurate from short range. Buckeyes take it 62 yards in seven plays, but three of coaches. This is hyperspeed. There's a flag down. The catch is made by Jalen Rager, who's got a first down. Now we'll we'll check backfield five receiver look. They fake it to Turpin. They flip it in the flat. It's a bubble screen. And again, it's Jalen Rager, who's a speedster. They have this Buckeye defense head spinning right now. 16-yard gain. They flip it in the flat to Turpin. The very shifty 157-pounder. And there's a throw to the end zone, but not getting there. Well defended. Sean Wade, the freshman, who's guarding Jarrison Stewart. It's fourth down. This from 31 yards. And it is sliding wide right. So TCU, a hyperspeed 69-yard drive, but the penalty nullifies the touchdown on the come. Haskins with the football, flips it in the flat, and the catch is made by K.J. Hill. And he's out near the 45. K.J. celebrating his birthday tonight with a catch and a first down. This third down. Haskins pressured up the middle. Hit as he throws. The completion is made, but Paris Campbell tackled short of a first down. He it's a high kick, and Turpin signals for a fair catch and backpedals to the seven-yard line. His eye discipline's important. Play fast, not rush. Hit at the goal line and sacked, and the ball is recovered for a touchdown by Ohio State. Davon Hamilton made the touchdown recovery. Bosa got there in a hurry. Here was the big left tackle, McKinney. He's a junior college transfer. It's very tough for any tackle. With and five. And Robinson has pressure, lofts it downfield. Rager makes a catch. What a circus catch as he reached out, beat man coverage. He beat Damon Arnett. And they're going to go fast tempo here. Rager's arguably their best receiver. What an effort with the one hand to go up. Going to go fast tempo here. Rager's arguably their best receiver. What an effort with the one hand to go up. The back. And they give it up the middle, and Alana Lua dives and scores. TCU answers. A 78-yard drive. This cue. On third and six, Haskins gets pressure, delivers a throw incomplete way over McLaurin's head, and he got lit up by Ty Summers off the edge. I see to Summers. High school quarterback, thought he was going to go play quarterback for Rice. Then Gary Patterson said, I see you as a linebacker. Slash. They just get it off. Alana Lua this time will not get first town yardage. You know, he's a sophomore. It says a lot. Nunez, first punt of the night on the run. Very effective. This guy has made a specialty throughout his career. Haskins pressured again. They flip it to Weber. It's a screen. A great call against this blitz. And it's a first down across the 25. Benjamin Victor, the receiver downfield, blocking as well as Weber. Busts a run out across the 40. It's Ohio State's best running play tonight. Third line. Ohio State set up. A lot of window dressing. It's Campbell on the end around. And the Frogs flush it out and drop him for a loss back near midfield. Well, school defense. CU brings some pressure, but Haskins has good protection and delivers downfield. It is broken up. Getting in front of McLaurin. Pass broken up by Noah Daniels, fourth down. Yeah, and trying to work his way back to the ball. Again, well-thrown football. See that left hand? Yep, got his left hand in there. Actually got the hand of McLaurin that knocked the ball away. That's to give him a chance to return it. 
Great coverage. Urban Meyer coordinates the special teams. It's down inside the five. His plan and ten. Handoff. Anderson has a crease. Darius Anderson has the sidelines. Can they catch him? No, they cannot. With Haskins, how do they respond? Dobbins breaks a tackle. He's so stiff arm. Boy, you can see how shifty he is. He's at the midfield. And he sure has. Dobbins into traffic, breaks free. And right. man called Jake Kalen. You can call him JK. Making a big impact in his home state. Scattered again. Cuts back. Dobbins. Blocks on the edge, lowers the shoulder, and bangs down inside the 15. Another first down. On paper coming in. Winding down. Haskins, they pick up the pressure. A slant, incomplete. Looking for a flag was Dixon. Gains in coverage, and no penalty. Fourth down. One for 30 yards. And woo, just got it inside that left upright. It was close. But the... Under pressure, Robinson escapes. He can take off a very dangerous runner. First down, and then some as he spins out of the 45. First, take it to Alana Lua. Quarterback swarmed and dropped for a four yard loss. Draymond Jones and Jonathan Cooper got there in a hurry. He wanted to go. It's Rager to the right. Looking that way. Deep ball. Rager overthrown. He had Arnett by a step. Robin True field game. Nunez punts it away quickly, very high, and the fair catch made at the 10 yard line. Helping them both play better. They pick up the pressure, another quick throw. McLaurin spinning into TCU territory at the 45. It's a three man rush on third and 16. Haskins has time and delivers a strike. It's KJ Hill. It's a first down inside the 35. An enormous pitch and catch. Gets separation and just is able to pull away. A mismatch. He has Evans on him as a line. Third and ten. Again, it's a low snap. Haskins has time. Slings it into traffic. McLaurin makes the catch. It's a first down. It'll stop the clock momentarily. Seven seconds. And this one will start left and stay left. No good. Some pressure. It's Browning. He drops back now. Robinson steps up and delivers a strike, and the catch is made by Jalen Regor. First down across the 40. A couple of years ago, third and ten. Pressure, flushed, and flips for a incomplete. You know, they're going to call it complete. Referee. So a three and out for TCU. And Nunez hits a low punt, which bounces around, and will roll dead inside the 15. It's Matt once again unable to come up with the football. Maria mentioned the emphasis on avoiding the drops. He had three of them in the first half. The TCU at the 35 yard line. They, they're going to boot it really high and short. And Turpin says, That's okay. I'll come up, make a fair catch at the 47. Very. Both the parents are coaches. There's a throw. The far side is Stewart. Gets a block into the secondary. Barreling down in the red zone. Frogs off and flying again. Uh, they took it. Anderson breaks free. Gets a block. Turns the corner. Dives the pylon. Touchdown. Well, you can see if he stretched it all the way to the pylon before he went out of bounds. See his feet still in the air on top. Gets to the end zone. His progressive pylon cam right at you, right into the living room here with the football. Uh, he's on his knees are on top of the Ohio State defender Arnett. He's in the air, hits that pylon before he is talented as TCU. It's given him some real adversity. Mack looks the ball into his hands and makes the catch for a first down to the 37. Third and five. Haskins steps up, flushed, and he is not. One of the great scramblers in the sport. A flag comes in after the tackle by ben. Not a very high kick. And Turpin will have to come up and make a fair catch at the 19-yard line. Option look. Late pitch. It was behind Alana Lua who collects it. Timing disrupted. And the game was short. Fourth down. Now this time they peel back. 
And Nunez with a low boot, but effective because it pins Saunders along the sidelines. Used to give Haskins low snaps. Sure does. That was a better one. There's Campbell, the man you asked for. And Campbell in the clear. Paris Campbell with blazing speed. They'll never catch him. Touchdown, Ohio State. Another low snap. Haskins rolls, fires high, and incomplete. So the Frogs maintain the lead, and once again, that low off the right side, and they run right into it, and the ball is picked up by Draymond Jones, and the Buckeyes have a second defensive touchdown. He's head up at the nose, and he's going to fight through the center here to be able to come up with this. He gets through Holland, and by pushing him back, next thing you know, he looks up in the eyes at the last moment to see the football, catch it, and then he shows the athletic ability to be able to avoid the, the, the uh, potential tackle. Look at his eyes right there at the last second. Picks it up. Defense alignment don't get those kind of opportunities very often. We'll see you on this third and seven. Pressure. And pass is incomplete. It was a short route over the middle intended for Barber. But guys come after this punt, and it's muffed. And it's partially deflected. TCU will fall on it at the 25-yard line. Could have been a disaster. As it is, the pressure forces the deflection. Ohio State will take over at the plus 25. Yeah, never really had much of a chance. Look at that. Look how far that snap is. He has a hard time handling that. Nunez really didn't have much of a chance at all. Raymond Jones. Haskins looking for the end zone. Hill, touchdown, Ohio State. They fake it to Anderson. Looking far side to Barber, who breaks free. And Tay Barber, the true freshman, makes a play into Ohio State territory. Second and 11. Robinson rolls. Deep shot. Down the middle. Into double coverage. Caught. Touchdown. Trayvon Tay Heights. Play action. Looking. And finding it across the middle. That's the catch made by Johnny Dixon. Dobbins, little high step action, knocked down inside the five. He's feeling it in his homecoming game here in Arlington. First and goal, play action. Haskins flushed, escapes momentarily, but he'll be dragged down at the six-yard line. Keeper, lead blockers, take that. Haskins finds the end zone as a runner. First team this year on third and eight. Robinson throws and what a catch made in traffic. Buckeyes showing pressure and they rush six. Looping throw, far sideline, jump, oh, catch made. Dylan Thomas went up and he beat the freshman Wade. Ohio State leaving a true freshman who's actually in pretty good position. The ball is thrown perfectly and the only thing. Second and 11. Buckeyes bring pressure, and look out, he's sat back at the 40-yard line. Draymond Jones, a monster night for the D-tackle. Buckeyes are showing pressure, then they drop back. Robinson has time, delivers a pass over the middle, broken up by Damon Arnett. It's a different punter, and he kicks a very high spinny kick that Saunders signals a fair catch for at the six-yard line. So. Haskins, late pressure, flips it off, underneath, catch made, K.J. Hill for their first down. Weber, and they do stop him for a one-yard gain. This has been a high boot, and for the fifth time tonight, he will pin TCU inside the 20. Again, a three-man rush as Robinson fires, and it's intercepted. Malik Harrison. And the Ohio State defense makes another play that should seal this victory in Texas. Walked up, and then he'll drop out into the flat. You got three guys rushing the quarterback, and he tries to sneak that in. And I don't think he ever saw Malik Harrison. How good they are when we go to State College in two weeks on the 29th.
Gene Smith, the athletic director, also comes off suspension right. on Sunday as well. And let's not forget to give Gary Patterson at TCU a lot of credit. They've got Texas next week in Austin, and they'll try to put this one behind them. I'm sure they can learn from this game and get ready to, for conference play and try to make a run in the Big 12. Ohio State gets it done with a 20-point burst in four minutes.